now look at setting up recurring invoices for the hire contract. The invoicing details section of a contract allows you to set a recurring invoice schedule and this is to be used if you need to generate recurring invoices when the contract becomes live. You have the following options for recurring invoices, not required, fixed price or charge per equipment. Not required means that you will produce no invoices for the contract. Fixed price allows you to set a fixed value for the whole contract and all of the equipment on it. This is a fixed price per invoice. Charge per equipment allows you to set invoice values for each item of equipment on the contract. We will look at the fixed price option first. First you set whether you will invoice in arrears or advance. The invoice account number defaults to the customer set on the contract but you can override this. This allows you to invoice a third party for the work, for instance if you are invoicing a finance company. You then have the first invoice date for the date which the first invoice should be available. Site ID and invoice to site ID should only be used if you want to address the invoices to a specific site. As the option is fixed price, you must then enter the value for the fixed price. This should be the total price for the contract regardless of the equipment items on it. Each invoice will be charged at this price. Now set the invoice frequency from the drop down options and enter the customer purchase order number in the order reference field. If the payment terms are already populated, this is set as the default on the customer account, but you can amend it if required. The order reference expiry date allows you to set the date which the customer's purchase order expires. This can give you a notification in the system. Click the usage days ellipsis to set which days of the week your equipment will be used. The usage days are used to calculate invoice values for charge per equipment only and suspensions or off hires. You can then add a break clause if required. This is to be charged if your customer ends the contract early. You can set a fixed value for the whole contract, a period value which will charge for a set number of periods when the contract is broken, or you can set a value for each item of equipment. For more details, see the video on setting break clauses.